The last topic that we're going to cover will be the networking. Now, generally, for one BTS, they is connected directly to the BSC. So one BSC, normally they are connected to more than 100 of BTS. So how does the BTS is connected to the BSC? So generally, we got three types of topology. The first topology is star topology. Star topology, which means that the BSC is directly connected to all the BSC one by one. So this type of topology we know as star topology. On the other hand, if let's say for example, your BTS is connected to the BSC using a chain type of connection like a train. For example, one BTS connect directly to another BTS and another BTS. This type of connections we know as a chain connection. And we got another type of connections that we know as a tree topology in which it is combination of both star and chain. Notice that here, here you got a star connection in which one BSC is connected to the two BTS. And from the BTS, it is slightly spread here, is another star connection. And from the star connection, it can connect it through a chain connection and so on. So what happened is that tree topology is something like the tree branch in which it consists of both star and chain together. And the next part will be the RF unit topology in which how the RF is connected directly to the BBU. As we have already discussed just now, the RF can connect directly to the BBU using the first topology, which is the star topology. Or you can have a second type of topology, which is the chain topology. We can also have a ring topology in which the RRU is connected one circle and then back to the same BBP board. So in this type of connection is something like a the auto backup function. So when it is an auto backup function, let's say for example, if this connection is disconnected, you still got another one for you to backup. However, not many operators is using this type of connection. And the next type of connections will be a dual star connection. This application of the topology is only applicable when you are using MBTS, in which your RF here support more than one mod. For example, they support 2G and 3G mod. So if they support 2G and 3G mod together, the processing needs to connect to 2G BBP board, which is the GTMU board, and then the 3G WBBP board. So this type of connections we know as a dual star topology. And the last part will be the summary, what we have already discussed so far. We have touched on the function, the feature of the base station. We have a look at the hardware of the structure, the base station, and what is the board inside. And then we have a look at the configuration of the base station in case it is just 2G or 3G or combination. And the last part, we have a look at the networking as well. Thanks for watching.